Hey, what's up everyone? This is DZ and today I have brand new LP starting up. Probably the most overdone game on YouTube at the moment, but I do not give a fuck. So, today, as you can see, Mass Effect 3, hooray! And, as some people have done, going to go on over to the options and change this shit to insanity. <laughs> This could probably end up very, very bad. Turn this on to allow squad maze. No, I do not want them to automatically use their powers, because they use complete shit. The AI doesn't know anything. So yeah, going to do that. And, alright, everything else looks good, so, doing it on Insanity. And, <laughs> I have not done a Mass Effect game on Insanity before, so this should turn out probably poorly. <laughs> Not gonna lie, so, hmm. I could import, I have done this game once before, and I did it on normal as a Vanguard, and I decided that I did not want to do Vanguard a second time because I think it's like completely, like ridiculously overpowered. I could explain that, I'll probably do that later, but for now, I'm probably just going to import the Mass Effect 2 character, and as soon as the characters import, <laughs> And just a quick heads up, I have not done Mass Effect 1 yet, or have not done it and probably will not play that game, but I decided with my original name, Commander Shepard, uh, this was the, my engineer on Mass Effect 2, but I will not be playing an engineer, I will be doing an adept. So I killed the Rachni Queen, rescued Ashley, sacrificed the Council, and had Rex die. All those were Mass Effect 1 decisions that I had no part in. But on Mass Effect 2, I saved Malin's data, I chose to rewrite the Geth Heretics, left the Collector base to service, survived the suicide mission with 11 squad mates, I'm pretty sure the max you can survive with is 12, but I don't... I think one of them's like the Shadow Broker or something, and I didn't do that DLC, so... Everyone lived in my playthrough, did not romance anyone in ME2, romance Tally in, in ME2, so... With that out of the way, let's get her started. So yeah... Uh, <laughs> going to be doing some adept insanity, and I could have. I decided to make it even more challenging than it needs to be. I am going to be starting with a level 30 character instead of a level uh, 54, which is what my vanguard was. So a little bit more than a little bit more. Uh, what am I thinking of? A little bit more of a challenge, I guess. And this shepherd looks absolutely hideous. So I'm gonna have to change that. Um, let's see here. Let's go, yeah. Much too dark, there we go. Lighten that kid up, and I do not want him looking, looking old. And I'll try to do this as fast as possible. Face size, eh, I don't care about any of this. Let's do some eyes, eye shape. Uh, da -da -da -da. That looks good. Eye height, don't give a damn. Iris color, let's see. You can make him look like creepy as hell and give him white eyes. Uh, that's even creepier, like dark red. Let's see. Sure, let's do it. Let's give him white eyes. Let's make him look hella creepy. Okay, that's good. Um, jaw. Chin height. Uh, looks good. Jaw width. Let's give him a white ass fucking jaw. Make him look like a beast. There we go. And for the mouth, he has like pencil lips right now. Nose shape. Whoa, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, I pass over the mouth. Whoops. Mouth shape. Um, no complaints there. Mouth shape looks good. For hair, hmm. Let me see. This could be interesting. Hair color. Make him look like an old man, but no, thank you. I think we're gonna go with the classic brown or red. Reddish brown. Or, hmm, let me see, yeah, it looks good, fuck it, and give him the good old-fashioned fucking crew cut, whatever that shit is, oh god, that's <laughs> handlebar mustache, that's too manly for me, um, no baby face here, yeah, the, the classic five o'clock shadow will be good, brow, fine, and that hair color might get really annoying to me. 
So, uh, yeah. That's kind of grayish. Fuck it, black. There we go. There's my shepherd. Looking kind of, uh... Okay, I want to change that nose. <laughs> That's... Let's see. Depth? No. It's like fucking curved. There we go. That looks better. No, it does not. <laughs> um, damn, why, why are all these noses fucking huge as hell? Like, broken. Hmm. Didn't think this was going to be such an issue. I, <laughs> I said I'm not going to waste a bunch of time customizing my character, but... Uh, damn. Well, shit. <laughs> that looks, like, really dumb. Um. Sure, there we go. No. It's too... D damn it. This is... Okay, fuck it. There. That is fine. <laughs> That's always good. Whenever you say that. Fuck it. And... Da -da -da -da. Going for the adept. Have the warp throw. Shockwave. Singularity pull and cluster grenades. Going to be blowing shit up. And, yeah, Vanguard. They have... <laughs> they have, uh... The Biotic Charge and the Nova. Only two abilities you ever need, ever. Like, for any reason. At all. <laughs> I think it's, like... Game-breakingly overpowered, because... Uh, Biotic Charge has... Invincibility frames, and Nova has invincibility frames, so... With lots of cooldown reduction, you are invincible, like, permanently. So... <laughs> gonna be doing the Adept. And my just gave me access to one of the following powers. Decoy. That would be really good. Uh, let's see... Defense Matrix, no thank you, Warp Ammo, Stasis, hmm, I think I'm going to be going for the Energy Drain, that'll give me a little bit of survivability, even though that is a tech power and it doesn't really uh, mix that well, and yes, I accept, yes, so there we go, yeah, even though the Energy Drain doesn't mesh that well with all the Biotics being a tech power, it will give me some survivability, <laughs> which I will most definitely need. Without a doubt, I will definitely need some survivability. So, yeah. <laughs> it would be most unfortunate to go through this without any way to re uh, replenish my shields. Being insanity and whatnot. Definitely want that option available. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Those are some tiny-ass subtitles. I'd stake my life on it. I'm probably going to turn those off. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. I figured to keep the subtitles on just for uh, old times sake in case like I'm talking over a cutscene but those are insanely small and with my shitty ass video quality that will probably not be able to <laughs> actually uh, be like uh, readable whatever the word is that I'm looking for for that Oh, I see what they did there. They were playing sound effects, making it sound like it was actually a shuttle, but it was just a kid with a toy. How, uh, insanely clever of them. Here we got Shepard. And... Commander. <laughs> Bruce Squat Thrust over there. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. Just so you know, this guy's name is James Vega, and that will probably be the only time that I utter his actual name through the entirety of this uh, playthrough. Just told me they needed you now. Because that dude is insanely stacked, and it is fun to make fun of him. Anderson, Admiral, you look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How you holding up since being relieved? So we got. uh not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. Shepard, back here on Earth. Off, off duty. Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. 
Something big's headed our way. The Reavers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? Oh, hey. Interrupting controller disconnect. <laughs> that's that's well, nice. And, oh yeah, this is going to be, for the majority, a Paragon run, no, because my last one on oh, my Vanguard was a, a Renegade run, None of them so, you know, you face down. yeah, I want to, Hell, to experience what it's up. like to do this on Paragon, because this is only my second time through this game. Should be fun. You know more about this enemy than anyone. Is that why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That, and your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hey, it's... What's-her-face? Shepard. Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I guess I did. Still, good to see you. Admiral. Uh-huh. I Come on. wouldn't say the same to you. Useless piece of shit party member. Look at her checking him out. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. How's it going? What's the situation? We were that is a uh, tell us. character from Jersey Shore, Shepard. The reports yeah. coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. I'm but sorry for that. Everything beyond the soul relay. There's no good reason to bring up such a shitty it's show in a, a Mass Effect video. <laughs> oh, I know I pissed some people off with that. The Reapers are here. But, uh, anyways, oh no, the Reapers, ah, they're here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But, there must be some way... If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't have close already. How can it past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. Sucks to be that guy. So, uh, everything is getting absolutely fucked up by the Reapers. That's not good. It's a good thing we have good old Shepard here. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. I think there's more options than that. We should get to the Normandy. You could run away. Yeah. <laughs> but what fun would that be? That's not good grounds to make a video game off of. Oh my god. Uh oh. 
Hurry, Matrix that shit. And Shepard dies, end of game. <laughs> oh, you know.